everyone. I know we have a lot of new faces here. So first of all, if you're new to the Miss Gold Girl family, hello, welcome. I am so very glad that you are here. And to those of you who have been here a little while or a little longer than a while, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you just as much. You may hear that my voice is a little nasally. That is because I am recovering from a virus that shall not be named. But uh, today is my first day out of bed and what better way to get back into it than to film one of my favorite videos, which is my monthly favorites. This is a roundup of my favorites from the previous month. That would be August. And I'm gonna give you my top five in beauty, clothing, accessories, and a lifestyle. Do be sure to check the description box which I think is now show more. I don't know, YouTube loves to keep us on our toes and changes things around, but you expand somewhere under my head and you will get the whole listing of everything that I'm mentioning in the order in which I mention it and links to shop or just to click on it to find out more information if you'd rather do that. Alrighty, let's get started with beauty, which is how I got started. So first off, what is on my eyes? Limited edition, and I'm loving it. This was sent to me by Urban Decay. It's the Urban Decay Naked, well, Mini is what it's called, I think. Naked Sin in my case. I believe there are three or four color palettes. The palette concept is all the same. They're tiny. They're the same as like the little mini naked ones that um, had come out earlier. These are, I know there's Sin, there's Half Baked, and then there's another one. This one is Sin, six colors, very neutral. This one's more on the rosy side. So easy to wear, easy to travel. If you just wanna have a palette on hand that you don't have to think about it, you can slap any of these colors on in any way on your eye and it's just gonna work. This is the one, I absolutely love it. Very travel friendly and just easy. At this stage of my life, I like easy and the packaging is very pretty next these are the bio aqua eye patches i found these because kathleen jennings beauty found these and i gave them a shot now i love them for under my eye and actually on top of my eye for deep puffing and brightening but they're really good at plumping out those pillow creases that you may get in your face i have found an answer to fixing that take your eye patches these are great and place them directly on the pillow crease, leave for about 15 to 30 minutes, and poof, they are gone. Moving on to foundation. I have two to share today that made the favorites list. They are very different, but they're equally loved, so I want to share both of them. First is the one that is newest to me. It's the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. This is a beautiful foundation. It is medium to almost full coverage without feeling heavy on the face. The shade range is interesting. I am obviously very pale and I'm usually the lightest, if not the next lightest shade. I'm glad I went in and tried this in person. Um, I ended up color matching perfectly with shade 4.5. Never in a million years would I have figured that out. So if you are in a store or live near a store to get color matched, I would recommend trying that. If you do not live near a store that carries this and you're still interested in it, there is a way to figure it out. Google is your friend. So Google swatches of the foundation you're curious about. In this case, I'm thinking it would be the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. And then try to see people who match up to you, generally speaking, and see what shades swatched well for them. Or a lot of people do the swatch test where they'll put several different brands on one arm with similar shades. So if you can find one that matches up in another shade, that, a foundation that you wear, that's a really good way to figure it out. And then finally, order from somewhere that has free returns, like Nordstrom. So you don't have to worry about it if you guessed wrong. Anyway, I love this foundation, especially for summer and for kind of special events because it's sweat and water resistant. And where I live, and I think most of the country, we're still experiencing pretty high heat and right now pretty high humidity, so any makeup that's not gonna melt off my face is a favorite of mine. Now on the other side, I have one that is also glowy, but drugstore, and this one is not new, but I just bought another bottle, and it's because I've been wearing it so much. This is the L'Oreal, long name, ready? True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. I currently wear the shade Very Light, 0.5 to 2 is the range. I haven't been self-tanning lately, and that's what I'm wearing today. I just think it gives a beautiful soft glow. It has amazing coverage. The bottle's terrible. I don't know what L'Oreal was thinking with this. When you open up this top, 
it's it feels thick and goopy it's hard to come out and then once you close it it oozes up it's a mess so what i always do with my other two bottles is i decant them into these airless pump Foundation bottles, you can put in, they're not foundation bottles, they can be anywhere. I will put the link, I have two different ones that I've ordered, these with the metal and then one with um, plastic on the top and bottom. It's a great way to contain this, makes it much more travel friendly, and then you just pump out your foundation like a normal foundation, it's fantastic. And then my last of the beauty favorites I'm also wearing today, and it is the newest lipstick from Too Faced. It's their Coco Bold Lipstick, and I have mine in the shade Milkshake, and I'm trying really hard not to burst into song. My milkshake free, okay. <clears throat> I can't sing on a good day, and certainly not today. I love the, f of course I love it. It's favorites video. Okay, I'm on a lot of decongestant right now. I love this lipstick because it is creamy, it covers well, the shade range is very beautiful and a little bit unique. I can still kind of smell. It smells like chocolate. It smells like their Too Faced chocolate bronzer, if you're familiar with that. So that's fun. I love the packaging. I love the magnetic cap. It's a great true cream lipstick formula that I feel so many brands have come like stepped away from. They're all chasing that liquid lipstick or oil or just a good traditional lipstick, it cannot be overlooked, it's fantastic. Now let's chat clothing. I'm gonna scooch over a little bit so we can insert some pictures. So number one for sure, the two piece kind of jogger travel set that I got from Amazon. I wore this several times in several different ways this month. Obviously I love it for travel. I also love it for lounging around the house. I love it for going out and doing everyday things. It's comfortable, I feel cute and put together. I also feel like I'm wearing pajamas. So check, 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 definitely a favorite there. Next for clothing favorites is a new to me find. They are the Honey Love Leggings 2.0. I love a good pair of leggings, we all do. And now that fall is on the horizon, um, I'll be living in leggings more often. I love a good pair of leggings. I love leggings that have pockets and I love leggings that suck things in and yet don't make it feel like you're wearing a girdle. And this is the first pair of leggings that I can say do all of those things. I've talked a lot about them in a couple other videos so I don't wanna go on and on about it. But the Honey Love leggings flatten out the belly, lift up the butt, but don't squeeze you like you are in shapewear. They are comfortable, they are easy to get on, they are easy to get off. You don't have to roll around on the floor in agony trying to pull them on or off. You know exactly what I'm talking about. They only come in black. I would say they run true to size. I have mine in a size small. Number three for clothing favorites is this waffle knit shirt jacket that I found on Amazon. I found it while I was researching dupes for free people pieces. I don't even remember how I fell upon this one, but I absolutely love it. I love the concept of a shirt jacket. I realized why. Those of you who are old enough to remember the 90s and the grunge phase, I lived in flannel shirts over a t-shirt or a tank top, which was essentially like the beginning of the shirt jacket phase 30 some odd years ago. So here we are in the 2020s and it's back, but better. I love the lightweight feeling of this and I love that it because it's Amazon, it's affordable and it comes in 8 million colors. Now we go from budget friendly to not so much. So I did splurge and I bought myself a little present, not knowing I would be living in pajamas for the last week of the month, but uh, these pajamas from Print Fresh are outstanding. I love cotton percale pajamas. If you get the night sweats or you sleep hot, this makes no sense, but trust me, it works. There is something magical, temperature controlling about this fabric, so it keeps you cool, it whisks away any moisture, and this particular pair will make you feel like a million dollars. I do have a discount code, and no, I'm not working with the company. I bought the pajamas on my own, and then after I received them and realized how awesome they were, I did reach out to the company and say, hey, any chance? you have a discount code that I can pass on to my audience and they said yes they do. So do check the description box, I'll put it up here too, for 15% off. I do have six favorites for clothing, so let me get to number five, which are these Anthropology cargo pants. I love them. If I could wear them every single day, I would. Now I'm not a big fan of all the trends coming back from the 80s and 90s. My general rule of thumb is if I've lived through it once, I don't need to wear it again, but I'm, I am into the cargo pants if they are done right. And I really like how Anthropology did these and they're so comfortable and 
they're so easy and the color is fun and they're lightweight enough to wear now. I am planning a video on fall trends that is in the works and cargo pants will definitely be discussed more there. But in the meantime, just know that these are fantastic and I would say that they run true to size, if not a little bit big. I have these in a size, it's either size four or 27. I can't remember the sizing on these. And then my last of my clothing favorites, have to give a shout out to my Rebs, game day tomorrow. Okay, Avara came out with a game day collection of spirit inspired wear. Not every school is represented, basically SEC and I think a hand, maybe not the entire Big 12, but most of them. And go Rebs, hotty toddy. I did not go to Ole Miss if you are new here and wondering, but my oldest has already graduated from there. Our youngest will be graduating there this year. And we just obviously have pretty strong ties to Ole Miss now. So big fan and it's hard not to be. Go to one football game at Ole Miss, experience the Grove. You will be a fan for life. Anyway, I love this sweater because it's fun. It's very spirited. All the schools that are represented have similar option, but it's lightweight enough that I can wear it now. So I don't have to save it to the very, very end of the season. All right, moving on to accessories. First, we have this very delicate, tiny, little single bead necklace from Uncommon James. And I just got a bunch of pieces from them and this is the one that I've been wearing the most. I just love that it's delicate. It has the one little bead. You can adjust how long or short you want it. I should have made this a little bit longer. And it's easy to layer with other things because it's just so nice and delicate. But if you only wanna wear this, it looks, let me pull this down. See how it just sits there? It's so pretty and lightweight and affordable compared to most of the jewelry that I talk about. So I really enjoy this and I'm looking forward to exploring more from this brand. I also wanna talk about, these have been favorites for a while, but I did just order another pair and I did get a lot of questions about these on Instagram and I use them every single day. So I might as well talk about them. And those are my reading glasses. Now, before I lose half of you because you're too young to need reading glasses, let me explain that these also come in just blue light blocker, like no magnifications, which is how I started with these. I started with the no magnification and now I need them for reading. So I have two styles. They're both by Peepers. This one is to the max and they come in different. Uh, this is the, the frame shape is called to the max. They come in different shades. You don't have to get this one, but um, so this is to the max, which I enjoy. And now these are a little more wild. This is center stage. I think these were an O favorite, Oprah favorite one as well. I think the, there you go. They might be a little, yeah, I see a little smudge, but you get the idea. Uh, these are fantastic. They're fun. They're on Amazon and I have them scattered throughout the house. I have them at the kitchen table. I have them in the family room. I have some by my computer. Michael loves them so much. They're pretty much unisex. So he wears the, the style more. Um, he loves them too. I love them. I think they're kind of fun. Now that I'm at the age of needing readers, I actually think they look pretty cool. So there you go. All right, now let's talk about shoes. My true favorite. So I have a few to share with you. First, I love booties. Like I love booties, but 91 degrees. So hard to wear, but these are perfect. These are the perfect transitional booties because open toe, open side. I know the heel's a little high. I wore these actually to the mall not that long ago. Walked all over the mall and surprisingly these were really comfortable. It's doable. So I love these. They do come in gray and maybe black as well, but I feel like a nude booty is always the way to go. I love them. And I would say they run true to size. I have them in a size seven. Next, we have a pair of slip on sneakers. So if you've been here a while and you've seen a million times these in various ways, these are slip on sneakers by Dr. Scholl's. The exact name escapes me. And these are my most worn pair. I love them. They're so comfortable. They're my go-to travel shoe and they're a print, but they're a neutral print. So I love wearing them. But I recently branched out and ordered another pair in more of this muted camo design. And actually these are the shoes that I wore when I went on vacation recently. And I actually walked, I think three or four miles in them. And um, I broke them in, let's just put it that way. These sometimes, this pair of shoes, I would say the first time you wear them for a while, you're gonna have to wear them in. They may rub a little bit, but then after that, 
their perfection. So these are now broken in. Dr. Scholl's, you can't go wrong with them. They're super comfortable. They do come in other colors as well. But what I love about them, besides the design and all that, is do you see how this is more narrow? It comes to almost like an oval almond shape instead of a blunt rounded toe that a lot of sneakers have. So these will be more elongating of the foot and the leg than standard sneakers. That, that's something that I tend to look for since I have kind of shorter legs. And then the last pair of shoes is a recent find and it might be sold out, but I wanna share it just in case it isn't. I talked about these on Instagram. These are new from Walmart and I love these loafers because one, they're comfortable from the get-go and unlike the Dr. Scholl's sneakers, these do not need to be broken in. These will give you zero blisters on your heel. It's amazing because this is all faux suede, but then this is a faux leather that just molds to your foot. It feels like butter. And this little insert here folds flat. How cool is that? So if you want to make it like a mule, you can. It's designed to already go that way. It's just absolutely brilliant design. Comes in other colors, runs true to size, has memory foam in the insole, they're outstanding. Walmart does shoes so incredibly well. I did want to share a pair of shoes that are not a favorite, but since we're talking about loafers and loafer mules, I just got these and they're so cool. I, I didn't want to wait. Like I'm sharing them. They are not a favorite because I've never worn them out of my house. Chico's does shoes now. Look at these. How, like this is all studs, all metal studs, metal chain, it's not a completely flat loafer either, which I love, it has a tiny little heel. Padded, you can see that pad. Padded insole, outstanding. I'm so excited for these. These are gonna look so cute with pretty much everything I own. So can't wait to give these a spin. Let's get on to lifestyle favorites. I mentioned these last monthly favorites, but they're so good, I needed to mention them again. The Amazon suitcases, specifically the carry-on size, the smallest size. So we recently went um, to Wisconsin to visit family, stay at a lake house, it was wonderful, so nice to get away from the heat for a little bit. And because we had to do connecting flights and it was literally, we were gone like 36 hours, we didn't wanna risk losing our luggage. So we decided to only pack carry-on. And I had my away bag, I had my Walmart bag, and then I had my Amazon bag. And I tried to see which one I could stuff the most stuff into. And the Amazon bag won. Beat, it beat the away bag, it beat the Walmart bag, even though they all are essentially the same size. I didn't even have to expand the Amazon bag. I actually could have stuffed more stuff in there. So really impressed with the Amazon one. Another lifestyle favorite from another person I admire, Lisa Lisa D1 here on YouTube. We are actually friends in real life. Um, she shared how to boil a hard boiled egg and she used this pot to do it and I was intrigued. Well, I'm always interested to see how somebody boils an egg because I can only do it using gadgets. I have yet to successfully do one like in a pot. But this was the pot that she used and it's brilliant. So first of all, the shape is so unique. It's oval, it's not round, non-stick. That's all well and good. Um, stay cool handles, very nice. But this is the cool part, the lid has this little latch on each side, you twist it on. So once you put the lid on, it's not coming off. And then when you wanna drain something, you don't even need another strainer, you don't need to wash anything else. You don't have to do that awkward thing where the steam rises up in your face and stuff falls out of the strainer and into your sink. You just drain like so. Voila, this is fantastic. It does come in other colors, it's on Amazon. I should point out that each color is priced very differently. I don't know why, but I went with black. It goes with most of my kitchen stuff already. Next, another product that was influenced on me by an influencer, who is not me, um, this phone stand. So I had something similar sitting on my desk and this part just kept kind of flopping. And I needed not for it to just get taller, which it does, get a little higher. This also moves around, but also this part stays where you place it, it doesn't start flopping. That's, and I really needed it to be able to do that. I like using this for FaceTime, if I'm FaceTiming at my desk and so forth. Just a much sturdier find all around than other phone stands I have found. So link below and thank you, Juan Kim, for recommending that. If you don't follow her, she's color and chic and it's HK Kung on Instagram. I'll list her down in the description box. I love me a washable rug and forever it's just been ruggable. That's the only option. And let's face it, 
they're expensive and they do require some effort to put back together. So when I found a washable rug at Walmart for not even half the price of a ruggable and it's one piece, so you don't have to pull it apart and then figure out how to put it back together again. You just put the whole thing in your washing machine and dryer, what have you. I got the five by seven size to put in front of my dog's crates. I probably need the bigger one, but this they keep selling out before I can get my hands on it. So I believe they have five patterns. And if you're a pet owner, if you have young kids, if you're just a messy eater yourself, for whatever reason, you want a washable rug, outstanding. And they feel so soft and you know a little more substantial than the ruggable rugs in a way. So they're they're not padded per se, but they just not doing this justice. These washable rugs from Walmart are amazing and I will be buying more of them. They're so soft and they look beautiful. Okay, last favorite before I call it a day. And I'm sorry y'all, I am usually better than this, but recovery is uh, harder than I thought. Okay, um, last thing I wanna recommend. I know we think of road trips specifically as a summer thing, but I find that a lot of people are, you know, they're going to football games. They're, if, if you're around my age, you're visiting your kids at school. There's fall break. There's just, there's stuff to do. And I think sometimes more stuff to do in the fall than even in the summer. And I like to be able to pack snacks, keep things cold. We recently found this backpack when I was trying to justify the cost of the Yeti backpack and couldn't. I found this one and it worked like a charm. We used it recently on a road trip with Rowdy to keep his water cold. Yes, we spoil our dog. If you don't know who Rowdy is, Rowdy is our wine runner and he's essentially our third child and he is treated like a king. God forbid he should have room temperature water when we stop for water breaks. No, his water was kept cold in this cooler backpack that can fit quite a few things. I think it's under $40. Of course, I found it on Amazon. I love the size. You can get quite a few things in there. And here's the good part, keeps everything cold. We actually left stuff in the car overnight, forgot about it, came to get it out the next morning, water was still cool inside. So good stuff, still can't justify that. I think it's like three or $400 Yeti backpack cooler, but it, I will admit it looks pretty cool. But now I do not need it. Well, I think I have babbled long enough for all of you. So those were my favorites for the month of August. Lots coming up in September. I have some really great content planned. Please do be sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thanks for sending me all those well wishes over on Instagram and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.